What's up everyone? It's Sam and Rich with Backcountry Life. Today we're going to be talking about generators. Stick around. back everyone. Ridge, why are we talking about generators? I bought a camper as you guys know as we talked about in our last uh, video and to use a camper you need a generator. Sam, why did we go with this setup? There's a couple reasons why you go with a smaller setup. I think the biggest reason is just how portable they are, right? If you look you can pick them up. They weigh my you wife know, can pick yeah, up. Yeah, they're just under 60 pounds when they have ga you know, a, a gallon of gas in them and so forth. So they're really light and you can move them around with them. But the downside is one of them won't power everything in your trailer. And what that means is it won't power the AC. Now for most anything else like your microwave, you know, charging your batteries, your, you know, if you want, need to run your fridge off of electricity versus uh, propane, it will run it. But if it gets hot, what are you gonna do? So what you do is Honda has the ability to what they call parallel two of them together. Now other manufacturers have that as well. Why buy the Hondas? Because you can buy cheaper ones, uh, very similar setup. You know, that's a good question. And you know, it really depends on what your budget is and that's something you're gonna have to decide. But for us, um, we like Honda just because they're simple and you know, they have good resale value. And my wife was very happy with how quiet they were. And they're one of the and quietest. She was very happy about that. Yeah, they're very quiet. And then just being a simple, easy to use. And the other thing is, is I've been told that the um, the actual electric motor in the Hondas are one of the best out there. So they put out the best output for the, for, you know, for the the size of the, the electric motor as well. So the little electric generator. So, so that's that. I mean, that's a decision you got to make for yourself. But I think they're. I, they're they're kind of the top. Okay. You know, there are other features that people like, like with the Ryobi ones. We, uh, this is the ones we have experience with. They have a kill switch that you can use through Bluetooth. You can't start it with the Bluetooth, but you can basically use the app to kill it. And they also will tell you yeah, how much gas and stuff that has a little bit of information. And there are other brands that also allow you to, they have like an electric start as well on the smaller ones. Uh, but. I think Honda and our, for what we do is kind of what, you know, are the best bang for your buck, so. So you gotta have one that basically is the inverter, and then one that's the, um, the, sorry, this one's the inverter, this one's the companion with the inverter as well. So this is the brain, essentially, and this one's just the dummy. And so it comes with a kit that you can hook up to get basically full power from both of the generators so that way you can power all of your stuff including your AC unit but one thing to think about when you're buying the bigger like like a 3000 if you're at like sea level it'll power everything in your trailer fine but as you go up in sea level because these are carbureted motors it basically decreases the the output of each one of the generators so collectively having two of these is is better than having a big 3000 yeah obviously you're going to get um you know 2200 out of each uh, these are a new model by the way 2018 they went from a 2000 to a 2200 uh output which is pretty cool um so that's something new honda doesn't change a lot of things um, but that's something that they did change. And so they do have, so they have like a big 3,000, I think it's 144 pounds dry weight. Yeah, it's big. And then they have one that's like a little, little yeah. lighter. The little lighter one doesn't have electric start and there was one other thing. Um, yeah, it didn't have electric start and had a smaller gas tank. Yeah, and I was very happy to know that these two are actually have, are, are more powerful than just the one big T one. Together. So all in all, it was, it turned out to be awesome because I was super nervous about having a super heavy, especially a uh, generator, especially if like my wife needed to, well, there's no way she could have lifted it, no, you know? Right. And me, I would have struggled. I put it through, probably would have thrown my Well, back the other thing but too is, with, so yeah, and then you having, not having a, a truck, 
you yeah. can put these in your your camper trailer if needed. They're just much more portable. Yeah, I mean, if I had a truck, you can just get a little ramp. And just yeah. and you can they have ramps you can buy. You just roll it up the ramp. So, um, yeah. So that's why we ended up with the Honda, uh, the two twenty two hundred. So yeah. So it's technically you know paired together. They're getting you know uh, forty four hundred on the output, but they also you can buy the parallel kit, which we have here as well, to hook them together. And it's not that complicated. Basically, you would plug it in here with this um, for your uh, bigger cable, which you would need to get, right? And then you basically just. And then you plug these in um, here and here. And then you got to make sure you have the ground on them as yeah, well. So you just screw that in. And you screw that in. And basically, then you can run the heavier duty, um, um, you know, the 120 volt out on these as well so you can run your ac unit which is pretty nice and the cool thing is we also uh, learned that even though these are newer models uh, the model i have i could also i could also use richard's dummy as and power get you know as a, in a parallel kit to be able to get more power as well so they will um, sync up with some of the the older 2000 companion uh, models as well so so let's fire one up all right perfect so the first thing you got to do is look to see if this is on or off. So they up here on the gas, um, they have basically an on off switch. That's basically the air that's going in. And you got to start it first on the off position to get pressure. And then once it gets going, you turn it to on and then it allows to be able to bleed all the air and the gas into the, um, you know, down into the carburetor. So it's pretty simple. Like we said, there's basically an on off switch for the starting that as well. I've never been able to, they start better when you want to You want to turn the eco throttle off when you start it. Yeah. Um, so that's uh, on and off as well. You got the choke. And then that's, that's it. So this is how loud they are. When, and right now when we're right next to it, loud but if you put this just a little ways away from your trailer I've forgotten that it's on and, and then my you know someone will be like go back and be like oh hey Sam your, your generator is still on and you're like uh oh yeah I forgot about that so it does also on these up here and I'll do a close-up shot of this is basically tells you if you got um, a low oil um, or if there's a, you've overloaded uh, it. Uh, it has a, you know, a few different things for you to be able to see. And you know, low oil alert is you know, something that's crucial. The other thing is, is if it's like tipped like this, it won't start, it won't run because the oil's, it's like a dry sump. So it, it, it basically has a sensor in there. If it's an off angle and a bad angle, it won't even start. So something cool and something to remember as well, so. And one thing to note, like we mentioned earlier, so Sam has a Honda and we couldn't get to start. And Hondas are awesome, except the one thing, the reason why it didn't start is it sat all year and we didn't put a yeah, stabilizer. This, yeah, and that's my gas. fault. It's not It's not the generator. It's, I forgot about it. I went through a move this year and so I kind of was in storage and I forgot to put drain the bad fuel or put stabilizer in it. So, you know, the recommendation is to run like ethanol free gas in them and, and you can even put a little bit of stabilizer in there all year to make sure that your gas stays current because gas ter it breaks down and you know it, there's such a small little uh, carburetor that it can get gummed up pretty easily. Yeah. The shop that we went to was a cool shop and they had all sorts of stuff. It was more like uh, uh, well, online they call themselves like a farm and equipment and a little bit of everything. Yeah. So, anyways, Sam and Logan got distracted. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> they so had everything. They had like they had all chainsaws. They had lawnmower equipment. They had dirt bikes. Yeah. So yeah. talk about like the dirt bikes they had. I I never heard of. So I you know I like dirt biking, but I'm not you know I'm not as uh, well versed in it as Sam is. And so they had what was the name of the bike? So uh, it's Beta. So it's a, a company, a European company that makes two strokes. In fact, I think it's a family owned business. It's privately owned, and so they're really passionate about hard enduro. Uh, dirt bikes, which 
and two strokes. And that's the other thing is they they're they're red. So Richard's like, is this a, like some weird version of a Honda? And I was like, no, it's it's beta, but they're really cool bikes. Yeah, so Sam's telling me that that's the bike I should buy, so I don't know, we'll see. I know, I've been trying to get him to buy one of those, because just have another uh, beta in our arsenal, instead of having, you know, a uh, more familiar bike, because it's just, it's not as well known. Yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching, as always, please hit the subscribe button, let us know if, what your experience has been with generators in the comments below, we'd love to hear uh, some feedback as well, and thanks for watching. Thank you.